Hey yo, welcome back everybody to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Hope you enjoy. So for today, I'm going to be showing my Hell House EX runs from the Hell House event. I'm going to be doing EX 1, 2 and 3 and hopefully you can gain some useful info out of it. I am mostly free to play so my videos have been basically free to play friendly. I'm a little bit of a dolphin I guess. I spend here and there when I can and I have wishlisted Sephiroth's Edged Wings since pretty much the time he came out and I have actually been getting quite a few of those so normally I would struggle with these but my Sephiroth's Edged Wings are maxed out so for me this is pretty simple but you should manage too if you are not super strong just bring your best to ice and fire and you should be good to go so what I brought was my max start edged wings and then this mithril katana. I have a stat stick and then fire and another stat stick. My sub weapons give me 5k HP, 2.9 magic. And then I have level 7 boost magic attack and level 7 boost ice potency. So that's pretty cool. I'm also bringing Aerith as my healer with her typical hybrid magic attacker slash healer setup. I still only have one fairy tale. I brought Ice Fire and her sub weapons are all event weapons. That gives her 5k HP, 2.6 magic and 1.5 heal. She also got M attack 7. Magic Ability Potency 1 of 4, so 3, and then Boost Heal 4, and she got a bit of Magic Defense. I'm bringing Lucia as support to support Sefi's ass damage with her Bold Eagle, which I've also had a few copies of, and then my random level 60 Mad Minute, really need to start upgrading some of my weapons. My sub weapons also have a few level 60s but she's got nearly 5k HP, 2.7 physical and yeah that's good. Her uh, our abilities are boost P attack 7, ice potency 4 and physical ability potency 4. So only really my Sephiroth, that's pretty kitted out. The other two are pretty standard. So EX1, getting straight into it. He summons Ice Bombs and starts off with his Freezing, which means you need to do fire damage to him. To kill off the bombs first, instantly start their explosive charge. Once you've taken down the engage with fire, he stalls, so you can hit him with either fire or ice. Just hit him with whatever's your best. And you'll notice EX1 and EX2 are very similar. Just EX2 is a bit stronger, I guess. So once he gets back up, make sure you defend the ice stream and have ATB on your healer to heal up. Then you'll do the barrier shift and become weak to ice. My Sephiroth smashes this, but if you don't have a very strong Sephiroth, you can just use your summon for Shiva. EX2, as I said, very similar. So bombs first. Fire, fire, fire. Then fire for 
to take down his gauge. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't, yeah. Make sure you top top. And defend. Heal. Blast him with ice. You can use your diamond dust. And he should be close to dead. EX1 and 2 are pretty simple. Jumping into EX3 is where things change up a bit. So. In EX3, he is going to start with the opposite. So he'll be summoning fire bombs. You still want to take down the bombs first. And then he has scorching. So you need to hit him with ice damage. Ice, ice, baby. Then he will stall and you just do as much damage as possible. Top up on heals for the incoming jet stream. And then the phase after this, he will go into a defensive mode, godhouse mode, where he won't take any damage from anything. So you won't be able to deplete his next gauge. Uh, so the trick is he summons ice bombs and for each pair he summons he depletes his own gauge a little bit so you want to be patient make sure you are topped up on heals and kill a couple of waves of ice bombs then on the third wave i believe it is he's run out of his gauge and he stalls so you can drop your Hellfire, all of your limit breaks here. Hellfire first. Kill off the bombs. Then it's back to the normal ground, nuking him down. And making sure you have enough ATB and defense stance when he does his ice stream. And now straight after this ice stream, he will go into a different phase where he starts counting down. This is basically a DPS check. And don't worry, you have a little longer than just the 3, 2, 1. Once the countdown ends, he'll begin charging Heavenswood. And that is when you need to finish him before that cast goes off because it will more than likely one-shot your team. So if you use your summons pretty much when I did, you'll have them back up. Hopefully use them in the right order, unlike me. Shiva first, then Ifrit, and he should be down or close to it. Then you just finish him. And that's that. Pretty simple if you have a strong Sephiroth. If you don't, it might take a bit more work, but should be doable. As a bonus, I'm going to show you myself getting absolutely stomped by the solo crash. But yeah, for EX1, EX2, and possibly EX3, just bring your best fire and ice. No sigils required. The crash has very similar mechanics. If you're strong enough, you might be able to complete it, but I was not. I could finish the ice phase using Sephiroth, 
but I didn't have enough fire damage to take down his gauge for the fire. So you'll see I uh, take like 9k damage and yeah, that's the end of that. I even try to save my Hellfire for that phase, but yeah, wasn't happening. This is where I die. I couldn't get that scorching gauge down quick enough. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this one. Thank you once again so much for watching and for everyone who subscribes, comments, etc, etc. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. And uh, see ya.